Hey guys, it's Matt. Happy New Year. I've got a new video for you. I have a really infected computer and I want to test out MSISoft's anti-malware to see uh, if it can get, get this uh, computer working again. Um, if we open up Task Manager, uh, you can see I've got a consistent high CPU for, for really no reason at all. I've got uh, a couple executables I'm not familiar with here. Uh, there's like one.exe. Uh, for example, and that constantly crashes and pops back up and then starts eating up CPU. So I already know it's infected. It's really hard to even use this computer. I downloaded uh, MSISoft's anti-malware from uh, this URL. I'll go ahead and put it in the description of this video. Let's go ahead and um, run this. This is a 200 meg download basically. Um, after we do a full scan with uh, MSISoft, uh, we will go ahead and use the Kaspersky Rescue Disk uh, to see if anything was missed uh, by MSISoft. I have a lot of faith in the Kaspersky Rescue Disk. I've used it for many years and it has really never let me down at all. So I always use that as kind of a second opinion on, on these reviews. So the install looks like it happened pretty quick, I think. I'll get some more crashing. Now let's go ahead and open it. Uh, we'll go ahead and test for 30 days. That's very nice of them to give you a test without a bunch of hassle. And it's going to go ahead and download updates automatically. Also very nice. Uh, yeah, we want to enable pup detection, potentially unwanted programs, because that's mainly what's out there these days from what I see. And we'll say finish installation. All right, um, we will go ahead and do a scan. We just did an update. Let's do a custom scan. See if there's any options I want to go ahead and check. Detect pups, scan inside archives, alternate data streams, manual traces, rootkits. I would say that's about it. I'm not really doing too much customization on this. I just want to see how it does right out of the box. And just kind of what I thought right there. S, Prov, GS, a lot of stuff on this, uh, a lot of infections on this computer. So, while that's scanning, I'll go ahead and pause. I'll be right back. Okay, well, it says it found 33 items. Let's go ahead and quarantine selected. Hello. I think I did hit quarantine. Maybe it's busy. All right, so I'm clicking quarantine selected, but nothing is happening here. Yeah, I can see the buttons highlighted. Oh, there we go. Falling objects cannot be removed. The removal experts from, <laughs> oh boy, from MSIS off forward will help you safely remove this detection for free. Yeah, so they're just sending you off to their forum. Some detections cannot be removed. A computer restart is required. Uh, so we'll do a restart and then um, we'll go ahead and do another scan with it to see if something else uh, was uh, like 
detected and maybe it's able to be removed or something. Alright, the uh, computer booted back up and I'm greeted with a crypto locker message. So I guess this machine had crypto locker on it. So that's still appearing. Um, my speed improvement went up about 11 seconds on my boot. Uh, so that's definitely nice. And uh, let's see. It seems more responsive. CPU is pretty much normal now. Let's go ahead and load up MSISoft again. And uh, sorry about the, the echo in all these videos. I'm probably going to have echo in my... Um, in my videos until I get my room fixed we had like a flood down here and uh, I had to rip out all the walls so I'm in a uh, concrete bunker right now basically okay um, let's uh, go to updates update now Software is up to date. Okay. And we're going to do a custom scan again. We're just going to do C. So the entire C drive. And we'll say next. And be right back. It only takes a few seconds. So Okay, so that scan came back with 14 detected. It said risk level, no risk, according to them. So we'll go ahead and say uh, quarantine selected. If, they're, if there's no risk, it should be easy to quarantine them. So. Yeah, so those could not be removed. All right, so we kind of know where this stands now. Um, it, it did return this PC to somewhat of a, a usable state, but there are still a few things on here. They might just be folders, but I have no idea why uh, it says risk level, no risk. And then when I try to say quarantine selected, it says it can't. Kind of odd. I think, I think they are just folders, though. So... All right, let's go ahead and boot up into a Kaspersky Rescue Disk, uh, run a scan with it, and see what it tells us. All right, we're in the uh, Kaspersky Rescue Disk. I did do an update just a few minutes ago. Let's go ahead and select the entire C drive. And we'll do all these guys too. And let's go to Settings. Um, say all files. I'm just going to keep it as a light scan. This this is an offline, basically an offline boot of this hard drive right now. So, threats and exclusions. Threats. Uh, no, I'll leave it like that. Okay, um, let's just go ahead and say apply, okay, and then go ahead and say scan. And that shouldn't take long. Oh my god, this is taking forever. <laughs> it's been going forever, at least an hour. This is the part about these videos that sucks. We spend so much time waiting on stuff. But, you know, when you pause and edit, it only looks like a few seconds. But, man, this is... A lot of waiting. Oh, getting there. Hurry up. It's taking forever. This is why you always have like a good book on your phone or like a good game or something. Imagine doing this uh, every day. Like all day. Well, take a look right there. It says uh, no active threats, nothing detected. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, MSI did a pretty damn good job. I would definitely, as a uh, system administrator, uh, use that uh, in my uh, tool belt to uh, disinfect a uh, co infected computer. So, anyway, awesome. 
Very good. So uh, I will have some more of these videos. I think I'm trying to do one like every other day now. I have a goal of pumping out a ton more of these videos uh, uh, along with some how-tos and things like that. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. See you guys.